I'm standing on the planet Shri in what was once a bustling marketplace. Over here you can see some abandoned shops. Maybe they once were restaurants. Maybe they sold, sold wares to, to passerby. And this was a good place to set up shop because this was the main thoroughfare leading straight to the capital city of the planet Shri. This road would have gone right down into the capital building and the commercial square of the entire city. But this road hasn't been used in a thousand years. Since that time, the old regime, the Zarelta under King Genghis, have fallen, and a new regime, the Croden, have remade the planet in their image. Over there is their new spiky capital building. It's dark and it's imposing. They couldn't tear down the old building, but they needed a symbolic victory of some sort. I mean, they just took over the planet. They need something to show their strength as the new dominators of this planet. So they built that, and that marked the beginning of their cruel regime. That was the only the beginning of what they did to the planet during their thousand years stranglehold. It's been a thousand years since Skinkus fell, and since this world of Shri started to change. We're gonna dive into the history of this. There's a lot of history and a lot to find out. So this is Shri as we see it in the present day. And we know it's the present day because this is when Pierre and Ari crash landed on it after having escaped from an alien saucer that they were trapped in in one of their previous adventures. They are our first window into the world of Shri, and at that time we didn't know much about it. But then, the game The Last of the Zarelda came out and opened up all this secret ancient knowledge. A thousand years ago, on Shri, King Ginkus was a great uniter. This is Ginkus, in his time, the mighty king of the Zarelda. He had brought together all the disparate nations to fight a, a great war with another continent, but he wasn't just a great warrior, he was a great leader. And he was able to not only end the war in a way that brought peace, but brought the two nations together in a way that everyone was happy with. To, to symbolize this union, they built the Great Bridge of Peace, an impossibly long bridge that puts pretty much any bridge on the planet Earth to shame. This stretches from one continent to the other, and was a show that these two nations are now joined as one in peaceful union. But things would not stay peaceful forever. As Ginkus's adventure starts in The Last of the Zarelta, we see that it, a rebellion has risen up within his nation of Zarelta. And in a stunningly short period of time, that rebellion grew and grew and gained more and more ground. And before anyone could react, most of the Zarelta nation had been taken over. Before Genghis even knew what was happening, he was preparing to make his final stand. Just in, in, the, in, the, in what was left of his nation in the area surrounding the capital city of Shri. On his last day, the Croden finally stormed the building. How could this even be possible? Before long, these weren't even a serious threat, but all of a sudden, they had incredible technology, and they had just overrun his nation. Yinkas was exhausted, he was out of energy, and he was out of options. So he, so he tried to escape his building. In his final act as king of the Zarelta people, Ginkus climbed to the top of his tower. He took his staff and he rose it, lifted it high above the earth. Energy from his staff surrounded his capital building, sealed it off in a force field and a stasis field, putting, putting Ginkus to sleep, holding his staff, with his cat with his tower for a thousand years. So that is the way things have been. To this day, Genkis is still there, still atop his tower, holding that staff, waiting to be awakened. The Croton know this and they hate it. 
they, it's a symbolic reminder that their victory is not complete. And for a thousand years, their victory has not been complete. And it's been this fact which drives them forward. At this point, the timeline is pretty simple. We have Ari and Peter crash landing at, in the present day, and then a thousand years before that, so this is a thousand years, we have the fall of the Zarelta. This is when King Ginkus falls off the throne. For some time before that, we have Ginkus actually being the king, so this period over here is Ginkus's reign, the time that he is the king of the Zarelta. And sometime during that, we have him end the war and unify with the other continent. And that is the timeline for now, but as we'll see, it's going to grow considerably as we learn more about it.